Hey guys, this is like the fifth time I've done this shot and my arm is so tired from holding this ginormous camera. Anyways, I'm gonna make this quick because this camera's gonna fall to the ground very soon. But I am making a reversible dress belt today. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not the one who has to wear it, so let's get started. Okay guys, I'm gonna cut three pieces of leather. I'm gonna cut a black piece, a brown piece, and a piece of padding. I'm gonna be using full grain Wicked and Craig bridal leather, which is really nice stuff. I'm gonna roll the the clips of me cutting leather now. All right. I want this belt to be about three and a half millimeters, ideally. So each piece is about three and a half mils. So basically I gotta cut each piece down half. So I'm gonna use the Skyver I got from Amazon. That was only a hundred bucks. I love this thing. I replaced the blade that came with it with these um, super heavy duty Ulfa blades and it like actually cuts like butter. All right, so I'm gonna Skyver the whole thing. Originally, I said I was gonna cut three pieces of leather. Uh, that was a lie. I'm j I just cut the two, and then I'm gonna use the leftover skived, whatever I skived off, and I'm gonna actually use that for the padding, because you know you want your belts to be, you want your belts to be squishy, right? The belt itself is about 1.3 inches. I'm going to make the padding about one inch, and then I'm gonna skive it down to about one millimeter. So I've got a black piece, I've got a brown piece, and I've got a piece of padding in the middle. So I want the tip to be a little bit rounded so it uh, matches the die. So I'm gonna just go ahead and cut a little bit here. I'm gonna start gluing this up. So before I sand, I just want to thank uh, Hoto Tools for sending me their rotary tool. It's a cordless rotary tool and it comes with 35 different accessories. Um, I use it mostly for sanding and for burnishing. I bought these burnishers on Amazon and they work great with it. Um, I've been using it for the last month on all my belts and uh, yeah, I love it. Thank you so much Hoto Tools for sending this to me. Okay, so normally if you're sewing two colors, you're gonna have a different top thread than a bobbin thread, but the brown I have is quite light and it doesn't look super good on the dark brown belt. So I'm just gonna do black and black. Um, and I'm gonna also do black edges, so it'll kind of, it'll kind of match.
Alright guys, so that's, yeah, that's the reversible belt. I got this buckle off of AliExpress, but you can buy similar ones off Amazon. You can buy ones that have teeth that kind of clamp onto the leather, and you can also buy ones that have screws, so up to you. It's basically just a pull and twist method, so you can switch the colors basically. Overall, like I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I would have done it a little bit thinner. I should have skived it a little bit thinner, but I was a little bit nervous too. Uh, it's a little bit over four mils. You know, I want to make it about three and a half, so it's quite a bit thicker, actually, but oh well. Yeah, I have no idea how these holes will hold up over time. I mean, I hope they do, but if they don't, then they, they don't. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, much appreciated. Take care.